special vehicles. Even as the business was growing, the management went that extra mile to stoke the spirit of entrepreneurship among truck drivers. Thus, many drivers became fleet owners thanks to funding by Chola. It is this value creation, coupled with financing new and pre-owned vehicles, that has helped Chola Mandalam become a leading NBFC player in India. Sample this. The number of vehicles funded by Chola has grown from 69,814 units in FY2010 to 2,4354 units in FY2015. The company, which has over 7.5 lakh customers, is adding 15,000 newer ones every month. It is betting big on this segment as nearly 70% or 17,638 crore rupees of its total assets under management are deployed into vehicle financing. To insulate its business further, Chola entered the home loan segment in 2006 and this yielded rich dividends for the company. In the first year, it disbursed 318 crore rupees. Today, this segment constitutes nearly 30% or 7,280 crore rupees of its total assets under management. To keep customers delighted, Chola entered newer and newer arenas like mutual funds, gold loans and consumer finance. But not all forays proved lucrative, so it exited its consumer finance joint venture with DBS Bank of Singapore. In all this, the management has not taken its eye off the main line of its business. Today, Chola has emerged as a primary financial services provider in the rural and semi-urban pockets as 70% of Chola Mandalam's 534 branches are located in rural areas. 20% have a semi-urban focus while 10% are urban-centric. There is a bit of a saturation on the urban market in the sense because urban market, uh, urban market borrowers are more credit savvy. Right now their, their needs are being satisfied by banks and other uh, financiers who are more uh, who are able to give loans at much finer rates. Hence uh, the urban market customers will get saturated over a period of time. For the segments we are working on, but we will always keep finding newer segments to work on. Like today, we are working on SME loans for in urban markets, which are uh, which are for customers who do not get credit from banks. So there are there are certain segments in the urban market which we will continue to work on, and the rural market from a vehicle finance perspective is booming with the better roads being built into into the interiors, and the availability of smaller and better transport facilities facilities being uh, able to reach out into the hinterland. The demand for vehicle finance in the rural markets will continue to grow and we will keep leveraging that demand. Unlike other NBFCs, Chola has concentrated on certain segments for its business. For instance, two-thirds of its vehicle finance portfolio comprises small fleet operators and in the case of home loans, the entire portfolio is self-employed individuals. Both these markets have the typical characteristics of low ticket size, cash transactions, limited credit history and volatile cash flows which makes it difficult for banks to address. We actually engage the customer far ahead of when banks usually do. You know, I often joke that no business happens in our branches. That's because all of our business happens in the field, right? Basically all of our field forces that sit in the branches are out every day engaging with customers, talking about what their needs are. And getting in front of those customers and showing them that we really want to service them uh, in a way that is much more proactive than banks usually do is what gives us that edge. And another reason is that basically over time we've been able to develop much stronger relationships with the channels. So if you think of dealerships, car dealerships, they know that NBFCs want to work much harder to get their business. And as a result, right, they've, we've always enjoyed a strong relationship with them and they support us in our growth. A similar situation exists in home equity as well, where we've developed very strong relationships both with the channel and with end customers that basically keeps them coming back. Besides the Smart Segmentation Trust, it has also invested heavily in technology. And this strategy has worked well for the company. Its net interest income has shot up from 529 crore rupees in FY 2008 to 3,253 crore rupees in FY 2015, registering a CAGR of 
profits during the same period grew from 59 crore rupees to 435 crore rupees recording a CAGR of 33%. It has managed to maintain net interest margins in the range of 7% to 8.8% between FY2008 to FY2015. On that note, it's time for a short break. When we come back, CNBC TV team Sumaira Abdi talks to Ajay Saraf of ICICI Securities to decode Chola Mandalam's success story. Stay tuned.